Oh, we randomly now being told we get Soul Splitter. That's odd. It only tells us right here. Horseman, what did you learn from the Lord of Bones? I suppose your king lives up to his name, if not his bargains. The dead king has granted you passage to the city of the dead. Who must I seek in the city of the dead? You should worry more about the one who seeks you. Answer my question, Scarecrow. <laughs> There's no fun in simply telling you. Then speak no more. I'd keep watch on my own neck if I were you. What will I find in the city of the dead? Besides more corpses. Something far more precious than sinew and bone. Souls, Rider. From every kingdom under a dying sun. In the city, their past life is cleansed, that they may pass through the well and be reborn. Many souls do not survive this purification. Some are driven mad. And a few even manage to escape their bonds. Alright, see the dead. Here's how we're gonna operate things. First puzzle is already with Soul Splitter. What you gotta do is you gotta pull it one way, pull you the other way. Ooh, man, my controller is shaking. Yeah, so tonight, uh, in honor of the fact that we officially hit affiliate, thank you guys so much for all that. That's not all I wanted to do, god damn it. First and foremost, nab chest. Chest, chest. Sweet. Also, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and send out some alerts to people. Okay, now we can. Ow, that was very brutal. Oh, looks almost like there's a- oh, yeah. Death, charge forward. Death, you make me angry. There we go. Finally. Alright then, so. Secondary puzzle. Soul split here. We're gonna take purple. Purple right here. Da 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 da! And now we're gonna switch on over the green. Don't know what we should call these guys. Hmm. We start Trush. I don't know. I'm trying to think of fun, creative names. You know, uh, Soul Splitter, Soul Splitter, and that. <laughs> God, City of the Dead. That's the name of the dungeon. Some of my favorite dungeons, uh, in Dark Souls, probably. Well, one's not even a dungeon. One's an ability. The point is, though, is it's a remarkably well put together dungeon. Centralized hub. Watch for that right now. Oh, that's another host. The host oh, with the most Chuck Brost. I know that it is a, I believe, Soul Arbiter Scroll and or Book of the. Oh, Relic. Relic's my man. Now, they're sh not here, but somewhere. Okay, that's a good cut cut. Uh, trying to remember where that goes to. Unless I'm going completely the wrong way. Nope, I'm not. I 
Okay, so we need a lantern. We don't have access to a lantern. There's our first door right here. Now, here we go. One thing I've been completely forgetting about this entire time has been a bunch of lost weapons. And these are two are such lich spines. Water bones use these weapons to pose the dead king Urgu, which we will fight later on. Ah, yes, okay, so, big puzzle room. What you want to do first and foremost is split here. You want to take greeny. As you see here, we need to get through this door. But how do we do that with only a giant death there? We need a switch on our side. First, what we do is we take this, and then we're gonna chuck it. There we go. And there's that door. Pose of you, climb on up here. And, of course, little main plot series. Darksiders story, my first ever playthrough. Uh, dungeon took me about maybe three hours, and this room alone took me an hour to get through. Because I did not know what the hell I was supposed to be doing. We're just gonna, we're just gonna pull you on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this room took me like an hour to get through because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> Believe it or not, I am, in fact, a big old dum-dum. Let's get this fresh chest here. Literally nothing. Cool. Loving it. There we go. Fresh chest. An axe. Hmm, yes. Sharp blades. And there's our skeleton key. Now we flip the switch. Also, uh, if you guys go in the chat, there should be some new emotes there? Question mark? We shall see. I think that should be. Yeah. There we go. Now we unlock this door here. Alright then, bridge puzzle room. Soul split again. Nope. Wow, that was embarrassing. It's other way then. Other side of the bridge. Good to know. Frost. <laughs> hey Frost, how's it going? Jump. Alright then. Uh, just trying to piece together mentally real quick. Yep, there we go. Book the bit. Yeah, book the damn page. Five out of ten for the second chapter. Nice. What we gotta do? Rotate this bridge around. That's the side we just came from. That's completely wrong. There we go. So as you can see, a boatman coin. Ushka. There's also a nice little chest chest. Sweet holes. Get another fresh chest chest. Hmm. That actually isn't that bad of a uh, harness. I'll look into that when we're done here. By done here, I mean done with this room. So we're going to flip this switch here. And that's going to get us the door over there. No reason to fear. And get the lantern here. Nope, wasn't that door that leads to the boss room, I believe. It's this one. Hello, host. Don't mind me. Just walking on through, casually. Grab you. 
and plop you up here. Pretty busy plopity. Rotate you this way. Get ourselves another page of the dead. I'm very upset that it did not work instantly. This way. Bam. And the giant snakes. Also, I did not mean to climb there. Or did I? Alright then. Another puzzle, another fight. Go, crows. He started leveling up my crows, too. Oh, well, there we go. So I'm going to spit it here. Dash tack on here. Right, it's the switch here that rotates the bridge. There we go. <sighs> oh, would you look at that? It was also a relic right over there. <sighs> My pain knows no bounds. Hello, Bubba Coin. Hey, would you look at that? I'm gonna be in the exact same spot I need to be. Take you, Relic. And this time I'm gonna switch to make sure I don't botch that. I hate you! So, Greeny betrayed me. Greeny's a bastard. Purple is now my new best friend. There we go. Okay, first things first, don't bite up there. No real reason to do that, I just really wanted to. So what we do is we grab you. I also got a stone bite, so, you know, hey, stone bite's always great. Throw you. And there we go, puzzle solved. Okay, yep, I know where we're at. Good to know. Just making sure. Hey, look at that, it's the bridge room again. And now we have access to that door over there. Yep, I was right. Combat arena. So, this is the room of torment. Because we got three torments. Tormentors? Tormentors? Yeah, tormentors. Three tormentors all here. Plus three wraiths. Because why the hell not, you know? There we go. Oh, you're right. There's also the undead general. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna pick up any health potions until we're done with this encounter. I just wanna be safe. So, main reason why I call this room the room of torment is because we're fighting these three tormentors all at once. Oh, not even all at once, just one at a time. Point is that we're fighting all three. Well, that's just a dick move. Alright, one down, two more to go. Ah, 
That's not good. Oh, now they're both popping up. Okay, we're just gonna use Reaper Form here. Cause this is getting really out of hand. Hey, we just got possessed eyes. Do a lightning damage. Uh oh yeah, right, we have a possessed hammer. I completely forgot about that. Uh this is actually a pretty good axe, so we're gonna keep that. Alright, that's actually a pretty good hammer, all things considered. So we'll keep that in. and for the time being also what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just equip this one. Just because we're probably going to be dealing with some bigger enemy types. So, oh boy. Okay. Rapid room. This is the rapid room. Ooh, okay, speed around his room. Basically. <laughs> Get no death this time. Time really is of the essence. Oh. oh my god, I did not take a single breath in that entire time. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate that room so much because there's so much tension. Alright. Hey guys. Hey. Hey guess what? It's time for a dungeon map. So there's one of our third and final stun by categories. And now it's time for the enemy Zerg garage. All right, thanks, schools. Alright then. So this entire walkway up here is nothing but a massive gauntlet. And this brand new enemy type to us, but not to the Darksiders franchise. Uh, abominations were featured heavily in Darksiders 1. They're a pretty prevalent enemy. Uh, this is for some reason the first and one of the only times we actually see them in uh, D2. The problem I have with these guys is their poison is very, very prevalent. There we go. Who, lordy, I hate those things. Dear God. Alright, then. Lich time. And we're not fighting one, but we're fighting three. Ghouls. And I did give it some thought. I'm more than likely not going to go on ahead and try to take down Draven's side quests. Just because of the fact that it's just like a lot I need to go ahead and look around for, and quite personally, I just don't feel like it's necessary. The backup plan is going to be for tonight if I complete the City of the Dead pretty quickly, which should actually be somewhat soon. Uh, the plan then goes to that of working on the scar in the nook and taking out Bayfear. Just to get that side quest somewhat more done. But okay.
Frost, I've been using this gun for like the entire stream. <laughs> ah, okay, yes. This puzzle. Okay, so. This place is where we're going to get our first of many gnomes in a very secret area. How do we do that? It's quite simple. First and foremost, we're not going to split on this plate right here. We're going to split off plate. You'll see me fail again. Okay, not. Awesome. And because green is my favorite color and I great, like green more. Bye, buddy. He's been sacrificed. No. So, this is our first big secret area. So, we're gonna find some of these weapon racks. Ooh. Boatman coin there. And look at that. Big old chest chest. With some good shrouds and a giant gnome statue. Nomad's new a serious gnome left by, left by Nomad. Four of these fuckers throughout the game. Uh, question is, do I want to take them all? I'll look into where the other three are, and I will most definitely jump on that then. Nintendo Switch, coming to your local dead city anytime soon. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. I'm just an infomercial guy. Jump over here. I think we may actually have like one more puzzle room, and then we should be good. I don't know. This, this is the biggest dungeon in the game. There we go. Alright then. So obviously there's a skeleton key over there. Yeah. Like there's only light there. And where we came from, we don't need an exit. The only light we have is here. Flippy floopy. This is no place for a horse. This is a perfect place for a horse death. Shadow bomb and giant bug. Go my curse. Nope. Wait, execution. Oh, yeah, baby. Get wrecked, bitch. Ah, shit. <laughs> wow, that, that read. Can, can we count as a read? I did make a joke last stream that death could be in Smash Bros. You know what? No, that's a joke. That's a good read. There we go. Alright. She's dead. He. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> They're dead. That's all that matters. Don't shoot it. Grab it. Chuck it. Skeleton key and giant dragon. Hey, let's see, run me over. All right then, spin us around. Well, there's no real reason to even spin us around. I don't even know why I did that. All I had to do was just jump up here and just climb up. I think I just did that because muscle memory. Or because I'm just that cool and I'm ten steps ahead of all you nerds. No, no, it's... I don't know why. I don't know why I do half the things I do. Hey, look at that. Look at the dead page. I believe it's... This way? Yes. I'm trying to get that chest over there right now. Yes, it, okay. I'm going the right way. So what you do is you go this way. There we go. Now this chest. So, as you can see, that opens that door there. But that's not the door we want. We want the door over here. 
Don't know where the sound effect was in there. That's weird. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what's happening to all the sound effects and all my audio. Like before, we just plop you down there. Greeny's got this one. So we're just scroll there. Okay, it's really ambient now that I, I can't hear any music. And it's really starting to freak me out. Because like not even the sound effects are playing. So it's a very scary. Okay, so like some sound effects are back. No. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay, so everything's back now. Don't know why I was gone. Very weird. Yeah, well then. So we get that door there. You want to chuck you up there. Bam. Flip on up. I believe what this... Now when you push this in, we should fall down. Yep. We fall down to the very ground level, which we started out on. There we go. And all we need to do now is just rotate this SOB. We're gonna stop being annoying, we're gonna go fight this boss. Here we go, boss fight. And oh yeah, no, we'll definitely have more than enough time to go ahead and run the scar. And definitely the nook. Oh, that's fantastic. I thought it was gonna take like an hour and a half. It's Cthulhu, it's Cthulhu, Cthulhu, Cthulhu is our boss. Nah, it's just the Wailing Host. Okay, so it's not as epic as a final boss to the Forge Lands as... as the, uh... Damn it. As the Guardian. Jesus, that's the name of the boss. There we go. Alright. Uh, there we go. Down to the depths you go. Hey Cthulhu, how's it going? Hmm, seems my gun no longer works. Yeah, this is the one unfortunate part I see with this boss. It's just because of, like, how many enemies there currently are on screen just fucks with it. Oh, thanks to the level up game. Actually, you know what? Here. You know what? Yeah, this is more important to me than the boss. Okay, what we're going to use. Alright, phase two down. Hi Cthulhu, how's it going? How was the morning coffee? Okay, it was probably not the best. I apologize, we will work better on that.
Okay, hey, buddy. I know, you know, you're lord of all evil and darkness and sin, but now's not the time. Okay, we've got the employees rattled up. Ow, fuck. There we go. Oh, Cthulhu's dead. We kill the Lord of Darkness, guys. So satisfying to watch. I love that execution so much. Wanderswatch! The end of the dead city. After this, we'll head back to the forge lines for some stuff. is lost. Not so. Even now, you carry with you the power to restore the well. The Nephilim? If you sacrifice their souls? Yes. They alone have the power to undo what was done. So I must sacrifice the Nephilim. I came to restore mankind. The Nephilim are dead by your own hand. That broken talisman is all that remains. Would you leave them to eternal torment in that cage upon your chest? There we go. Ciders <laughs> two memes on this channel. Not so fast, horseman. You are following me. So I am. I will remain here at the tree. Should you have need of me on your quest. <laughs> And dust has a beak for more than corpses, horsemen. Follow him, and you will find the key. Follow dust, find the key? Can't be that easy, Crowfather. You may be right, Death. The future is a secret even I cannot keep. Well, that's cool and all, but we're not going to go to him. <laughs> 